Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm bringing you guys a new NBA All Net video. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this. I get these comments in my comment section of almost every video. But today I want to go over the 4.1.1 update. Yes, NBA All Net has an update. If you don't have it, go on ahead and go get it because you're going to need it. They have a new UI update. They also have new cards. They have a new way to review your ranked matches, especially when you lose them, as well as a new option for auto upgrading your gear to the max level if you have enough gold coins. But let's go ahead and hop up into this app ASAP. Now, we're going to be going over the Rose Garden today. Yes, I do play on the pit as well. Yes, it is me. If you see a level 42 or 43 dude, yes, that'll be your boy. Now, uh, just to let you guys know, this is my daily regimen. I do this every time I sign on to the app all day long. Now, you guys will see. I have signed in for 18 days straight, so I do receive all my bonus rewards. Now, after that, I go and claim 100 diamonds for my 30-day pass because when I first got the app, I purchased that 30-day pass. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing it again, but, you know, we will see. Now, after that, I go over to my notifications tab. Now, the reason for this is because I, be, I have league rewards. Um, that YouTube... Uh, whatchamacallit what is it called i think like a youtube grant or something like that that was something that the team sent me so i can give you guys like a crazy uh legendary card pack opening something like that now um also when i go into ally notifications i make sure that i accept all ally um encouragements as well as encourage them back now the reason for this is because three of those goes to my daily tasks and I know for the people that play NBA All Net they know what daily tasks are but for those who are going to download this app you're going to want to definitely do those for sure. Now I cannot accept any more encouragements and I cannot uh, give any more back to those people on that list because I can hit the accept button. But what I can do is I can go to my allies and actually encourage them directly. Now, my ally list is currently full. full and um, for all the people that are on my ally list, thank you for actually adding me because, man, I get I get so many requests now that I've been doing videos on it. But when the game first dropped, like I wasn't getting no requests. Like, well, nobody hit me up. But, you know, now people know who I am on this, John. And, you know, they hit me up. But, uh, you know, I'm encouraging everybody because I need that luck inside of pack openings. Now, the thing for this is when you're trying to get a legendary card or something like that, that's that's like the main goal. Nobody really says, hey, I'm going to do an epic pack opening today. No, everybody loves to go for legendary cards. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm challenging an ally because I have to do it three times a day in order to get a plus five out of 120 on my daily task list. Now, you will see. The new UI has a list of what the player level is, how many, uh, what cards the player has, what level those cards are on, what rank those cards are, and what uh, strategy that person has with their skill sets. Now you guys will see they have like hot shot, shuffle shot, uh, immobilize, stuff like that, but they're only on like low levels, like they're not even level 10. So level 10 is the highest for those skills, but uh, like all of my guys are on like level 10, we, we do, we does this. Like there's no lie about that. Now I'm going into my daily task. I have 10 out of 120. Now. You guys see, I challenged the ally and I encouraged the ally. So that gave me plus five out of that. Now we're going to go over the daily task. Now you guys can see I just received 20 diamonds for just encouraging and challenging. 20 diamonds. Easy. Now right now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade some uh, inventory. I'm not going to go in and upgrade everything until I have no gold coins. I'm just going to upgrade one thing just, you know, so I can show you guys. But I know you guys are probably like, yo. I can see why you got so many headbands. That's because I rarely go in and sell my inventory until the end of the month. The reason for this is because I'm constantly playing legendary matches and I'm always getting so much gear that it's just a waste of my time to even just sell it every time I play it. Now right here I'm going to go with D-Rose, give him a plus 10 develop and it went straight to his steal so that definitely worked out for me as a daily task for the day. You guys will see that I have level 15s um, is my next tier for every single player. I got to get every player to level 15 and then I start to level 16. So as a daily task I have to 
coach each position that's point guard small forward shooting guard center and power forward now all i have to do is coach it and give it one card in order to get through my daily tasks in which i can get a lot of those from legendary matches because all I play is like draw matches like I don't go in and you know go through each tier every single day I just go in I hit the one that where you can draw a card and I get like an epic or sometimes I luck up and get a legendary now surprisingly um, I'm doing this video post commentary so after this video was done I went in and I did Blake Griffin and I got a Blake Griffin card so I gave up uh who was it i think i gave up kevin garnett and put, put blake griffin in his spot but this was only on the pit so now i'm running chris paul and blake griffin and they have like this little uh i guess you could say not ally but it's like their affiliation type joint and um it's like uh what is it aerial uh, aerial assault or something like that it's something where or aerial connection so i've just been using that and you know now i got that and blake griffin and i used the kevin garnett card as a xp transfer and um kevin garnett was on 45 level and i used that to transfer that to blake griffin and he went to a 41 level with a uh with an xp with i think like five um xp slips and he went to level 41 so i only gotta get four levels back to max him out now um let's see i can draw one of these cards below i have a chance in drawing it but it doesn't mean that five legendary cards will pop up because what you see here are all epic cards i did not get the chance to get that legendary card and that's because my luck bar was not full if my luck bar had been full i would have gotten a guarantee legendary card now over to tournaments um the thing about tournaments a lot of people have been saying that it's been glitchy lately saying that you know if you play people on a lower level that it shouldn't be no reason why you should lose but sometimes i do get those games where i lose like right now i just scored 77 to 50 77 to 50 look at my stats now i'll play this person probably four tournaments later and i'll lose to him by 10. Like, you, you feel me? Like, I, I think I just won by, like, 27, but I'll lose by 10 after, you know, buying new diamonds, um, reing up my energy, and keep playing tournament all day so I can get all my coins. And then one time I'll just lose to him out of nowhere by 10. And I'm looking at the game like, so you're just going to cheese me like that? I've been beating this dude by 30 all game for, like, six rounds and now on my last round of energy i lose to him and then i gotta replay him then i lose to him by two then i replay that i lose to him by seven i'll be like oh they cheating they, they just don't want me to keep getting these coins but yeah man um i definitely play bronze a lot because man i tell you now the silver and the gold uh tournaments those dudes are on like level 59 like <laughs> i gotta get my game up um i think the max level is 65 on this joint but you know it's it takes a long time to get there but right now i just got a uh what was that a hundred no i think like 16 some thousand uh gold coins and just showing you guys some stats from this how play, some players were defeated and you know i did look at this though i think my kevin durant is glitched like i got a level 53 kevin durant and he ain't showing up so i i, I might get lebron james i'm not sure i'll figure it out um, I don't know if I want to give up KD just yet, but we'll see. Now, uh, as I draw cards, I do draw a lot of these blue cards. I don't, I don't really draw too many epic cards when I'm doing uh, this. It's either the regular joints or the legendary. Now, I do exchange diamond, diamonds for gold once a day, just for the daily test. I don't do it like all day long. I don't exchange my diamonds just for gold coins all the time because I might need my diamonds for something else. Now, what I do on Road to Glory, I make sure that I turn the efficiency on. Always turn the efficiency on so you can get double your, your uh, uh, badges and everything like that. Your topaz, your emeralds, everything like that. And I definitely autoplay. Um, autoplay is so easy. I would, I would definitely say if you want to use autoplay, I think you got to spend like $20 in um in game so i'm talking about 20 regular dollars you spend 20 regular dollars and it'll get you to the, like premium level two and then you'll be able to use autoplay right there you guys see i got 55,000 xp um i got some topaz some emeralds and i definitely got them uh badges now right here i have to win five legendary matches that's that's not easy at all um you guys can see that i don't have a lot of these 
completed fully but um right there i think i probably got to about i think kobe bryant um i think i got that all the way done i know i've got lebron james done now the reason why i'm playing lebron james like this um is because i want a lebron james card now the funny thing is see that lebron james piece that i just got right there those pieces accumulate to get cards now what i mean by this is if you go to cards and you go to pieces you can see how many pieces it will take for you to get a card another way of getting legendary cards is the rank matches see how i have 2000 uh honor and i have 2022 points what i can do is once i get the 3000 honor i can redeem that card for kevin love and what i will do with that kevin love card is i will use him as a consumable card to get my rank up for my cards you guys will see some of my players have level six rank level seven rank things like that it takes a lot of cards to start consuming once you use like a level seven level eight rank stuff like that like these cards are not cheap and it takes a lot to get them now what you guys will see here is i just won a rank match 58 to 52 i am number 36 on the on the uh, top 100 list in a rank match for rose garden um i have to get get back up there on the pit because i haven't been playing pit rank matches that much because i was trying to get like complete 800 uh rank matches and um what was it get 500 rank match wins on the rose garden so you know i was playing a lot of rank matches on that and boy I'm telling you, waiting for a rank match, it takes a hell of a long time. Like, waiting for a rank match is literally no freaking joke. Like, sometimes I'll sit there and wait three and a half minutes to play a rank match against somebody that I know I lost to previous previously. Like, it's it's insane. But um, what I will show you guys is since this is taking so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and click L Sam, the person that I lost to by six points. I'll go into him and show you guys what his stats were like and what his players were on and stuff like that like you guys will see like he's level 54 i'm level 53 now i'm gonna go ahead and click stats now what you will see here is we both have the offensive joint but he had 11 for 15 now check this out i had six for 11 and he had seven for nine he had steve nash a, a shooter but we both had marksman now if you check it out i had shuffle shot and his other player i think had hot shot and vice versa lebron james did better than kevin durant now check this out double pump level 10 i think since he has offensive his double pump is max so whenever he dunks it from past the three-point line it counts as a three so no kevin durant probably did not shoot real life three-pointers he probably jumped from past the three-point line in which yes you can do that because this is a game it is not depicted in real life so i know he did do that but um uh, i know i got all my daily task rewards so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that before i sign out and i'm gonna show you guys the rewards that i did get all my topaz my diamonds my emeralds and everything but this is ikc signing out peace y'all see you on the next one yeah.